So we arrived into Rodney Bay here in St. Lucia yesterday. We just anchored off here in Rodney Bay, had a good night's rest, and now we're heading off to Martinique. Morning, people. So we're super excited to be going to this place. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. We raised up the anchor and started our 23 nautical mile journey to St. Anne, Martinique. One thing about Ricky and I is that we don't give up easily, so we're pretty adamant to catch a fish in the Caribbean. If you guys don't know, we haven't caught one fish since we've arrived in March 2021. Dave, what are you doing? amount of seaweed that's been around we just like it's endless catching seaweed like there's so much seaweed in this ocean no matter what you put we put an extra propeller going deep catches it and pops up to the surface we've used skip baits we've used conus everything is catching so i'm going to see if, when we get to martinique if i can get a, a feather covered uh, hook and i'm going to change two of the conus to that if hopefully that will allow it to brush by but everything else is just picking up weeds all the time so Simone's trying to jerk over the seaweed I don't know how successful she'll be but hopefully she'll catch us for dinner with not catching a fish we were starting to wonder if there's no fish we just suck at fishing. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. Martinique was quickly approaching, so we reeled in our fishing lines and found a pretty sweet angry spot. Hello! And fresh. Oh, bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Martinique, baby! <laughs> In case you didn't know, Martinique is an overseas territory of France. Martinique is a big island being 80 kilometers long and 35 kilometers wide. Gotta do our usual routine, check the anchor. That's what I tell Simone, me not just wanna get in the water. Checked into Martinique. Into Martinique. It's very good, yes. Very good. Check in is so quick, so effective. So easy. Easy. Very nice. So now we just have to get a French bag and uh, get data so that I can upload episodes. Yeah. We checked in quite late, so opted to do more exploring the following day. 
So we checked in to Martinique but yesterday I did some editing and did some laundry so we spent the day on the boat getting work done. Now we're gonna go and hit the town. We're looking specifically for a new dinghy. dinghy. So we're gonna go check it out, see if we can find something that we like, see what the price is, hopefully it's much cheaper than Grenada was and then make our decision. And what do you think of Martinique so far? It's very nice. I like it. So far your favorite? This is what I imagine the Caribbean to be. What is that? It's like you can get everything you want and you're still in a beautiful place. I no. can make that's what I thought this, that's what I thought the Caribbean would be. Now the Bahamas, I'm expecting it to be a lot of nothing and self-sustaining. That's what I hope it to be for most of the Bahamas. It smells good every morning you wake up here. There's food going on. Sands, baguettes, cheese. Yeah. So we're busy walking to our bus stop. We just stopped at a car rental place to see how much it would charge us to rent the car. Ended up being like 40 euros a day, which we thought wasn't too bad. It's cheaper than Grenada. So we're probably gonna rent or but yeah, for what you're getting. Air conditioning, all that stuff. But we're gonna probably um, share the rental with friends of ours. So then it's better and we all get to see the island share the costs so yeah now we're walking to the bus stop Martinique has a pretty nice public transportation system although there was a little bit of a language barrier we found our way to Limerin where all the boat shops are we hopped on a bus Took a bus to Le Marin, very nice bus, like an actual bus bus, AC and all. So now we're walking to the marina to look for a dinghy. We found our dinghy guys. It's a professional model. Yes, it's soft bottom and pink. It's important they got these braces. That's what makes this dinghy able to take a 15. Not. Oh. Checked out all the boat shops for tenders, ranging from 3D tenders to AB tenders. You'll just have to subscribe to the channel and follow along to see what we decided upon. After shopping, we made a quick lunch stop at the grocer for some cheap cheese. Ricky and I went into the shop and bought some groceries and they were like, well, let's just buy stuff and make a lunch. So we're having sandwiches with camembert cheese and salami. And how much do we It's not this salami, one? this is traditional. I mean, traditional. And like, I've never had camembert at the price that I just bought it. Like, so... Like five euros for everything. Yeah, so like before six, we leave, $6. I'm stocking up on brie Ooh, and camembert. That's what this is amazing. Man, it's like my favorite cheese ever, and now I just have it readily available for me to and consume super cheap. and cheap. So I'm excited, and the bread is so good, and oh, everything is just so good. We are loving Martinique, loving it. If you're a foodie, Martinique, Martinique is the place for you. We're here waiting at the bus stop to get our bus. Ricky's tired. It's a long day. We did something naughty. We put a deposit on a new dinghy. <laughs> and it killed us to do it. It really killed us. But it's we know expensive. it was expensive. But we need a new dinghy. Like, it's just. We've seen that the more north we go, the further apart everything is. And so. You, ha you need to get around and you have to get around in your dinghy so 
We have to upgrade. Even, and if we want to do the Bahamas, everyone says like you need a good dinghy and motor. So we had to do the upgrade. But like, yeah, it hurts now, but we know it's going to be worth it in the long run for sure. And we're going to be so much happier going places and doing things. So it's going to give us a peace of mind and yeah, we're excited, but we're also like, oh, that was a, that was a lot of money to spend. And she's our first hot, bo hot bottom yeah, she's and hyperlon. Hard bottom and hyperlon. And she weighs? 39 kilos? No, man. 31 kilos. 31 kilos. She's super light. So she's an ultra light. So we're excited about that too. That's why we went with it because it is the lightest option that we found available in the better price range compared to high field and things like that. High field was just a bit out of our price range. Yeah. And we were like, ah, oh, we're not willing to spend that money. Um, but the tender we're getting is a very good tender, so we're excited. Oh, we hope so. Well, we hope so, but the people who have the same tender as have us said it's good. have said it's good and they're happy with it. So. And now we're at the bus stop, waiting for a bus to go back. It's a lot of walking. Like, the only reason we're doing all of this, a decent dinghy takes seven minutes to do everything. Yeah. You do it by public transport, one way is half an hour. Yep. And that's after you wait half an hour for the bus. So that's what we're doing. We're waiting for our bus so we can get back to Anchorage and have our stinky cheese. <laughs> we're stinking up everywhere because our cheese is in our backpack. And I think it's a little too hot for our cheese. So yeah. we have to go put it in the fridge ASAP. We got excited because the cheese was two euros. Yeah. Now we're like, mmm, so, cheese is a little stinky now. Yeah. What are we cool waiting place. for now? What's the name like of the bus? It. I don't know, Sudlip. 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 Our Sud French lip. our French is a uh, non-existent. Perfecto. <laughs> we thought there were no buses coming as we waited for over 30 minutes. So we started walking back to the boat, only to see the bus pass us by afterwards. But we managed to get home. So you guessed it. We missed our bus and now we have an hour and a half walk to St. Anne. Hopefully we find a bus stop on the way, but doubt it we need scooters good morning everyone and this morning we're gonna do a little baguette run we're gonna go get get some baguettes for breakfast so baguette cheese prosciutto and chorizo for breakfast it's gonna be amazing oh, it's a long dinghy ride it's at the end of that mountain let's get to it go get some baguettes After grabbing our breakfast baguette, Ricky opted to come and fetch me to show me how cool this strip was. <laughs> Doing my daily workout, baby. Gotta pump this sucker up. Not for long, baby. Not, Not for long. long. We're drifting. We are pirates. Drifting without ours. Oh Too much just gets better. Um, been having a part of the Caribbean mar marathon. <laughs> Welcome to France. <laughs> oh, this is the truth. Look how many dinghies now. They are so many. We're here in uh, St. Anne's little town and we went came to check it out. I thought everything would be closed on Sunday and then I remember, oh, that's like Grenada and St. Vincent. Here it works on European times. Open. It's a cute town, hey? 
very cute, very nice, very, very clean, cute. very neat. Kind of feels like those little, like that, in the CBD of Cape Town. Oh yeah. Like those little houses, corners and the houses, and some yeah. coffee shops. And Only pity is that like the communication. It's tough. But we don't. We don't understand anything on the menu. It's so like if we want to order food, we don't know what we're ordering. We'll get skinny. <laughs> Don't forget to watch next week's episode when we get our new dinghy and disaster strikes at sea. You're gonna have to dump, dump the sail, dump the sail. Shit! Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.